Jane Fonda is an Oscar and Emmy winning actress and successful producer. She is also a physical fitness pioneer, businesswoman, and best selling author. She has a new book now, and it focuses on a cause she's passionate about the sexuality and development of teenagers. Her new book is called Being a Teen Everything Teen Girls and Boys Should Know About Relationships, Sex, Love, Health, Identity, and More. It's a straightforward look at body image, family, and feelings. And we're thrilled to welcome Jane Fonda to the Morning Blend. Good morning, Jane. Good morning. Thanks thank for, you for having me. Yes, thank you for being here with us. You know, we're very excited to talk to you about this book. We think it's great that it's so candid. We definitely want to get into some of that. You know, to start, why did you decide to write this book and include boys and girls in the, in the book? Takes two, right? Mm -hmm. um, I've, been working, <laughs> I've been working with adolescents for almost 30 years. First, I ran a children's camp in California for 15 years, and then I, I married Ted Turner and moved to Georgia and uh, founded the Georgia Campaign for Adolescent Pregnancy Prevention, um, which is now Adolescent Power and Potential. And I started the Jane Fonda Center for Adolescent Reproductive Health at Emory School of Medicine and so forth. So I've, I've had a lot of experience talking directly with boys and girls. Uh, adolescence is very different for girls than it is for boys, and so it, it's important to talk about both. And um, I've been very gratified that parents who, who have read the book now are saying, wow, I, I learned a lot, and this is going to really help me deal with my kids as they go through adolescence. It's a, it's a very challenging and a unique, unique stage in human development, separating childhood from adulthood. It's the gateway to adulthood when a lot of changes are going on in an adolescent's life, not just body, but also values. They're beginning to think abstractly, not just concretely. They're beginning to figure out who they are, different from their parents, develop their own values. So I try to address all those different things. And I worked with a lot of experts. It took me three years to get the book together. And many dozens of teenagers read the book and gave me feedback as well. I had actually planned to go to bed early last night, started reading your book and couldn't put it down. I have a 14-year-old daughter and then two younger than that. So the book was really um, meaningful to me. And I love that you even in the beginning mentioned that it's something that you can kind of drop in and out of. And I, I appreciated the fact that your chapters are so clearly defined. One of the things I wanted to ask you, because you've been open about the fact that as a teenager, a lot of the information that's in this book was not necessarily shared with you. Um, there were a lot of things you didn't know as a teenager as you were going through all of these changes how would you characterize your teenage years and did you feel kind of lonely um, going through a lot of that of, of those changes well like a lot of young people my adolescence was was fraught my mother died when I was 12 right at the beginning of puberty my father was a very busy um, remote man a professional actor and I didn't know how to get answers to my questions. I mean, you know, there were the books, you know, about how the body works, and that's good, and that's extremely important, and my book includes that. But, you know, a lot of the questions have to do with feelings. How do I know if the relationship I'm in is a healthy one? How do I know what a not healthy relationship is like? How do I, how do I tell the person I'm with, the boy I'm with, I don't want to do that, you know, without becoming unpopular. Um, what do I do about acne? You know, just, there's just so many different kinds of questions that the kids need to know about and parents need help with too. So parents should read the book as well and I'm glad to hear what you said. I'm glad you found it useful. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when you start to define healthy relationships, what are a couple key characteristics that teens and even adults, adolescents should look for? Well, first of all, if, if you're with somebody that you th is your boyfriend or girlfriend, there has to be trust. There has to be the feeling that you can communicate openly with them. In a, and they're not somebody who, if you break up, are going to go and tell what, you know, your intimate details to other people. You have to be able to trust the person. You have to be able to talk to them about sex. For example, you know, if you're old enough to be starting to think about these things, you have to be able to say, well, you know, have you ever had sex with somebody else? 
And if so, you know, you have to be tested. Do you have sexually transmitted diseases? Because there's diseases now that can affect you for your whole life. Chlamydia, for example, it could make a girl infertile, not to mention HIV AIDS and so forth. So if you can't talk about sex, you shouldn't be having sex with the person. Um, and anybody that's trying to pressure you into doing something that you don't want to do, that, that's not a healthy relationship. You know, you, you have to learn that no is a complete sentence and you can say no at any point at any time along the way and that should be it that no one should try to take you to some place that you've said no to that's called abuse you want to walk away from that and and um you know the person just may not be the right person for you and it may take a while for a boy or a girl to find a, a you know a loving a partner that's appropriate for them you know it, a lot of boys that are really sweet and sensitive and treat girls really well and and they see the girls you know wanting to be with the players well fine these are probably boys that are keepers the kind of boys that when the girls get a little more mature they're going to want to have in their life it may take a while for those boys to find girls that really understand the value of being a boy who has empathy and and compassion and sensitivity and respects a girl I love that. That was we, beautiful. Yeah, I thought that was beautiful what you just said, along with the fact that no is a complete mm -hmm. sentence. I'm going to remember that and tell all of my kids that. One of the things that I also like about the book is how clearly you explain things like getting your period, what is masturbation. I mean, topics that maybe they're hearing about at school, depending on their, their health and human growth development kind of things. Some schools don't cover those things at all. But I also feel like when you're yeah. explaining yeah. something, that you're not judgmental mm -hmm. about it. Even like masturbation, you explain what it is, that it, it's healthy, you're not going to, horrible things aren't going to happen to you, but that maybe you have a family that's sensitive to it for religious reasons or, or whatever else. I just feel like your approach is so fair and, and non judgmental. Yes, you know, I, I was very surprised when I gave the book in, when it was in manuscript form to, to teenagers, how many of them really loved the fact that I was sensitive to family values and how different families have different um, standards and different values and different religions and, you, you know, kids have to be sensitive to that. And, and the, many of the teens liked the fact that I did that. And... Um, you know, it's, I know it's not easy for parents to talk to kids about this. It was not easy for me. I wish I had had this book. It would have helped me a lot dealing with my own kids who are now in their 40s. But um, it, it's helping me with my grandkids, let me put it that way. <laughs> yeah, when my kids ask me a difficult <laughs> question, I say, ask your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. you're, you're absolutely beautiful, yeah. Jane. It was such a pleasure. I think it's wonderful. You, you really kind of go me. and balance all these different ways of how to say no, but also how to talk about sexting and things like that. And at the end of each chapter, you have a resource with information of where teens can go. So thank you so much for chatting with us this morning. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Absolutely. And again, the book is called Being a Teen, Everything Teen Girls and Boys Should Know About Relationships, Sex, Love, Health, Identity, and More. And we both highly recommend it. A great book. And we appreciate Jane Fonda joining us this morning on The Morning Blend. Wasn't that great? It was a, certainly a mature discussion. Yes. <laughs> Candid, mature. I think yeah. she's kind of, it's that book that you can sort of hand off and say, here you go. Little uh, birds and I bees. Think she's, I, th I love that she's still active in her later years mm -hmm. still has an important message for people absolutely it was yeah. a great conversation all right